Hello artists and welcome back to Art at Home with Mrs. Kellogg. Well, this week we're going to learn all about the famous African-American artist Alma Thomas and we're going to use her colorful paintings as our inspiration for our art project today. Below this video is a link to a video about Alma Thomas which includes all of her amazing paintings. Watch that video before you start the art lesson because you will gain so much inspiration from Alma Thomas and her paintings. Now, meet me over at my workspace because I want to tell you more about the lesson and the materials you will need. Did you watch the Alma Thomas video and see all of her colorful paintings? I hope they inspired you. I know they inspired me. Now, let me tell you a little bit more about the art lesson today. I want you to look at these two paintings. These are examples of what we're going to create today. And if you notice, they, these two paintings start with a center point. So that means that they have a circle in the center. And then each ring of color gets larger as it goes out. And in art, we call this a radiating design, very much like if you were at a pond and you were to throw a rock in the pond, or if you saw a puddle and you threw a pebble into the puddle, the water would create ripples that radiate out, just like Alma Thomas's paintings. And Alma Thomas was very inspired by nature as well as color. Alma Thomas was known as a color field painter. Now you're probably wondering, what's a color field painter? Those are artists who focus their whole painting on color. And that's what we are going to do today in our paintings. Now let me tell you the art supplies you will need for today's project. You're going to need paper. The size is up to you. I'm going to use an eight inch square. And I recommend having more than one paper, especially since we're painting. And since we're painting, you want to make sure that your paper is thick enough to apply watercolor to. I'm using watercolor paper for today's project. And since we will be creating a circle in the center, you can either paint the circle, or if you'd like to draw the circle in first, make sure you have a pencil with an eraser. And if you prefer to have a template to draw your circle, you can always use the cap of your glue stick or you can place down a jar and trace around the bottom of it to create a circle. Since we are painting with watercolor, you're going to need your watercolor set. You want to have a paintbrush and I recommend having a smaller paintbrush, but if all you have is a wide paintbrush, that will work too. You want to have a cup filled with water and also a paper towel. And don't forget to put down your mat or your newspaper before you start your art project. And there's one more thing I'd like you to add to your supply list, and that's music. Below the Alma Thomas video link, I've included a music link. And the music link is to a music video where they show Alma Thomas's paintings. While famous jazz musician Miles Davis performs his song, Flamingo Sketches. You can listen to the music while you're painting. Listening to music while you're creating art helps you to relax and it inspires your creativity. I know it does for me. Those are the materials you will be needing for today's art project. Now would be a great time for you to pause the video, get your workspace set up, gather all your art materials, and meet me back here, and we'll start creating Alma Thomas inspired artwork. Did you get your materials and your workspace set up? Great, then let's get started. In this art lesson, we're going to focus on two things, creating a radiating design and a color field painting. So in this example, for my radiating design, I started with a circle as my center point and then worked around that with my brush strokes. The color pattern I used for my color field painting was a rainbow color pattern, starting with purple, indigo, blue, then green, yellow, orange, and red. And then I continued that pattern again until I ran out of paper. 
The color choice is up to you. And if you would like to use a different shape in the center for your radiating design, feel free to do that. Another important point to mention is the number pattern. That means how many times you go around the circle with the same color. So for example, here for the green, I went around two times. With the yellow, I went around three times. So the number pattern is totally up to you and how many times you feel you need to go around the circle to create your radiating design with that color. I'm going to use a larger square paper for my radiating design. And when I think of color, I'm going to focus on value and color for my um, color field painting. You can start your radiant design with your circle in the center, off to the side, wherever you would like. I like having my paper towel close by so I can check how much paint and water I have on my brush. When I make my strokes going around the circle, I like to turn my paper as I work. Um, and I also like to leave some white space in between my brush strokes. And I clean my brush every time I'm gonna to change to a new color. And I check that my brush is clean on my paper towel. And always remember when you're working with watercolor, you need some water or else um, you can't get the paint to move. And I'm using the tip of my brush so I'll get more paint onto my paper. And in addition to creating a radiating design, you're creating a design with numbers, how many times you go around with a certain color. And also you can create a design or pattern with your brush strokes. And there's my color field painting. And as you can see, if you create a lot of these paintings and use different color combinations, you can learn a lot about color. Well, that wraps up our Alma Thomas inspired art lesson. I hope you enjoyed learning about Alma Thomas and I hope you learned a lot about color and radiating design. I encourage you to revisit this video and make even more color field paintings. For example, you can also try a different shape in the center of your radiating design. You could use squares, triangles, whatever you like. And if you'd like to try a new design, another idea is to create a vertical design using different colors. You can even create a horizontal design going across using different colors. So I encourage you to make more color field paintings because you will learn a lot about color and have a lot of fun. I hope you enjoyed the lesson and remember when you are creating art to relax, have lots of fun and keep creating.